What's going on, guys? Quick video. Wanted to show y'all. Bench made. Kind of give you my thoughts and stuff on it. I've had this one for... Oh, I got it in July. The first part of July. And been carrying it since when it wasn't lost. You watched a previous video to this one, you'll get that reference. This bench made 51 Morpho. It was a blue glass. Gonna show you how it comes. In the box, you get the normal bench made bag. Real nice, soft. It's not in there, I'm actually carrying it. But. Inside, you get some paperwork from Benchmade about their life sharp. You can, if it gets dull, you can send it back to them. They'll sharpen it for you for free to send it back to you, which is pretty cool. I've never used it. I always sharpen my own knives, but a little padding in the bottom. That's pretty much it for the box. And here is the knife. Sheath does not come with it. I made this from a piece of Kydex. It's a simple fold-over sheath. It ain't great, but it works. And on to the knife. When we're looking at the clip, I'll let you know the clip is the main reason I put the, or made the sheath for it. it it's got decent tension to it, but I bump into things a lot doing maintenance work, and I actually had it lift out of my pocket when I was moving some stuff in storage, and it came out of my pocket and lost it for a few months, but thankfully it's back. We went back and cleaned out and found it on the floor. But really cool looking knife. It's G10 scales over titanium, jeweled titanium liners. All Torx bit construction. Titanium pocket clip. The spring, there's a latch on this one. They call it a spring latch. I guess... It's technically right, but there's not an act physical spring in there. It's more of a, they use part of this scale. I don't know how well this is going to be able to get in there to see. But you see when I push on it, you can see the inside of the scale moving with it. It's actually channeled out and it pushes on that scale and it keeps it sprung open, which is pretty cool when it's, Closed. Stays latched. Never had a problem with it popping unlatched. But you squeeze it, and it pops out of the way. But when it's open, and you lock it, it doesn't pop back. It's actually got a detent in there that keeps it from coming back out. And you gotta physically push it back up. So, it's pretty neat. The latch stays out of the way when you're flipping it. Uh show you real quick on a lot of knives they'll get in the way hit the handle and all that stuff but if you can see that's as far as the latch goes when it's open it'll just kind of spring back and forth and this way it looks like it's touching but it's really not it's close but it's not touching so really cool on that overall length on it is nine and a quarter I believe it's nine and a quarter. I got a cheat sheet over here because I can't remember nothing. Yeah, nine and a quarter inches overall. The blade length is four and a quarter. It is D2 steel. D2 is like a 60 to 62 Rockwell on them. Uh, spear point, you can see it's full flat grind. Or not full flat grind, but it's a flat grind. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Cutting edge on it is three and three quarter inches, and it's 0.11 inches thick on the blade. Super thin, it is chamfered on top, so it's easier on your fingers when you're flipping it. It's not, a lot of people complain about the weight of it, about it not being a good flipper, and for some things I tend to agree. A lot of momentum based tricks, rollover, stuff like that, it's a little harder to do. It can be done once you get used to the, you know, the light weight of it. I mean, it's 3.4 ounces on my scale. The specs on the website say 3.3 ounces, but, you know, I'm not going to argue over that tenth of an ounce. So. But it is a super smooth knife. It's, this doesn't run on a bushing system. This runs the phosphor bronze washers. 
probably not going to be able to see down in there to them. They're kind of sunk down in there. But phosphor bronze washers. I say it's super smooth. It was a little stiff when I first got it, but it's kind of normal until you get them broke in. It's that way with pretty much any ballast on. Uh, if you get one, definitely lock tight everything. Even the body screws. I haven't had, I think I had one of the tang pin screws come a little bit loose once. I pulled it out and wiped it down and re-locked tight it, put it back in there and haven't had any more issues with it. But super, really smooth knife. Super impressed. I mean, it's Benchmade quality. These are now discontinued. I, so I got this one almost six months ago and picked it up from Knife Center. Everybody else was out of stock on them already, but got lucky enough to find one. Say so prices, if it's anything like the rest of Benchmade stuff, the prices are just going to keep going up and up and up. I've seen a few in some of the Facebook groups that I'm in going for three fifty, four hundred bucks. So, you know, demands out there for them. Say so as they are, they're a decent flipper. Uh, it, they're more for EDC, but I know Flytanium makes. Uh, handle sets for them adds a little bit more weight I think it gets it up to like 4.2 4.3 ounces which is more of the ideal weight for flipping I may pick up a set one of these days for it and just try them out but I'm enjoying it the way it is I say I've got other other ones when I want to you know just do a little flip session sit down and toss it around for a while Oh, I'm trying to think there's anything else I can tell you about this thing. I say it's great EDC knife. I say it weighs next to nothing. There's your D2 blade steel. And of course, USA made. There's your butterfly. But awesome little knife. I think just to stay up here, I'm in the shop at the moment can't you tell by the nice high-tech background here but yeah i guess that's going to be it for this one just one of the kind of get my opinions on this one after you know about six months of carrying it and using it and i enjoy it it's super super smooth those bearings wear in really good just a little bit of light oiling and good to go but anyway, guys, that's it for this one. We'll catch you in the next one. Later.